Okay, today we have something here that I've been wanting to try out for some time because my car has a service engine light come on and I really have no idea what it means. So this device hopefully will help me out here. So this is the Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor by Nonda. And many of you probably have watched some of my videos in the past. If not, I'll put some links up here. And I'm a pretty big fan of their little car devices. They have all kinds of things that you can add to your car so that you can kind of make it a little more smart, a little smarter, a little more of a smart car, sort of. Anyway, this is the newest addition for my little my little Fiat. We're going to crack this open just to see what's in the box. So here we go. Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor. Monitor, diagnose, and predict vehicle issues and more. So we got an engine health monitor, easy saver dashboard, and the safety center. So for those of us that have been using the Zeus products before, you're probably gonna end up using the exact same app, which is awesome because all their hardware kind of ties into it. We are going to crack this open and my guess is there's probably not a lot in it. That's my hope and that it's super simple for me to install, which so far all of their stuff has been, which is always awesome because I'm not a mechanic. Nope. So I want something that a non-mechanic can install, which is why I like this stuff. That's that's it right there. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's all. There's nothing else in the box, super simple. So this basically is one of these I'm probably gonna say this wrong. This plugs into your port on your car. Now I have to go find where that is on mine. And there's gotta be more in here. Yeah. So the only other thing in here is a little tiny user manual and warranty. So how to set it up. Use the Zeus app, which is excellent because then I don't have to install anything else. OBD, so it's OBD. What does OBD stand for? Ah, uh, onboard diagnostics port. This plugs into the ODB port. So the onboard diagnostics port, so OBD2. And I believe I had read somewhere that that's for pretty much all cars or most cars that have been made after 1996 should have one of these in their car. So that's it right there. Just kind of plugs in and then we run the app and we're good to go. Not much in the box. Let's go outside, plug it in the car, and see if it tells me what's wrong with it. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can see me. Um, we're out in the car, and I've already plugged in my adapter for the OBD port. So luckily for me, on my car, it's just down here on the side, nice and easy to get to. I didn't have to pull any of the dash off or anything like that. So what we're gonna do now is, I believe, I would think we're gonna to have to turn the car on. So bear with me, I hope it doesn't get too loud. I'm just gonna do that right now. Actually, we may not turn it on all the way, we'll find out. I will turn the fan down. Everything's turning on. All right, so let's come into the app here. So Zeus, and see if it can find, hopefully that stops beeping, something new. So inside the Zeus app, if you've never been in here before, You'll see the dashboard at the very bottom. I have a couple things by them. On my car, I have the wireless rear camera by them, so I'll put a link up here, as well as I have something that monitors my battery and location, which is at the top, which again, I'll put up here for you guys. So at the very top right-hand corner, there's a little settings, I believe. And I think we can click on that smart vehicle health monitor, and you'll see a plus. So I'm gonna hit that one that says Smart Vehicle Health Monitor Pro Edition, because, well, there's two here. So I think it's just the top one. We'll hit this plus. Yeah, that looks right. Start the car's engine and leave it running through the installation. So it may get a little loud for you guys. Hold on. Plug it in, which it is. When the light starts blinking, place your phone next to the monitor to complete the Bluetooth pairing. All right, well, it's blinking. Bound successful. All right, so it does come up and say Pro Dashboard Upgraded. Cool. Your dashboard has been upgraded to the Pro Dashboard. Hope you enjoy the enhanced features. I guess I will. Excellent. Next, Easy Saver Dashboard Upgraded. Follow the real-time driving dashboard to develop good driving habits. Okay, and there it is. 
I'm hoping it'll give me some extra information. So I got a new dashboard, which is great. Maybe what I'll do is take it out for a quick little drive and see. Oh, it's starting to do stuff here. Top revs, top turbo, top speeds. All right, I'm going to pause you and we're going to go back and I'm going to give this just a drive around the block to see what happens. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back from our little trek around here and it's kind of neat that little dashboard, but the dashboard does give you a lot of information that you probably already have. So information like your RPMs, uh, if you have turbo on your car, if it's using uh, the loads and coolant temperature. But the important part for me was I have a check engine light on right now. So for that, you actually have to go over to the, to the bottom here where it says safety. And you'll actually see that there's a rescan. So last time I scanned was January 4th and it's much later than that. And this is the first time with this. So I'm going to actually hit rescan right now because previously because of my cigarette lighter that I have from them, it was checking the battery. So I'm going to hit rescan and hopefully it should find something in regards to my check engine light. One issue detected, cruise control brake switch A circuit high. What does that even mean? Faulty brake switch, misadjusted brake switch, brake switch harness is open or shortened, brake switch circuit, poor electrical connection, possible solution. Engine light on, cruise control system inoperative. Description, when your brake pedal is depressed, the stop light switch sends a signal to the engine control module. When the ECM receives a signal, it cancels the cruise control. Well, that is something I should probably get checked out. Good to know. If I hit this little clear button, what does that do? Clear the codes. Oh, okay. All the engine codes will be cleared at the same time. After clear engine codes, please switch off and restart the engine for it to work. So I'm going to hit clear codes. Stop the engine, it says. So let's actually do that. Turn it back on. Now it didn't clear the, the, them on my car. So I've scanned it, I'm still getting the same code. So I'm definitely gonna take the car in to get that looked at because it's not a simple thing for me to fix. Other than that though, you can see what it scans, fuel, air, and emission controls, ignition checked, speed and idling controls, computer and auxiliary, gearbox, car battery, and for me, backup camera because I actually have some of those extra things in here. So the more stuff that you would have by Nonda and Zeus, uh, the more things would fit in here. I'm gonna go inside. It's a little it's a little on the chilly side out here. All right guys, so we ended up at the mechanic shop. Car has gone in. Looked like it was a fairly inexpensive repair, which is good. And because of the fact that I could go in with an error code and a bit of knowledge on my end, there was no way for them to say it was something else, which was an added bonus for sure. So we're going to just run this. The engine light seems to be gone, so that's good. Let's just run the scan one last time and see uh, if it actually is gone. All right guys, so there you go. Um, all fixed, engine light gone, scan came up good, and uh, that's a win. If I wouldn't have necessarily had that, I would have went to the mechanic not having any idea what the issue was. So having this on the car at all times can really be beneficial. It's not a huge investment. I think these came in between 50 and $60. It stays attached to your OBD2 port at all times, so it's constantly just monitoring. The only thing that I would do is, you know, once every week or so, maybe just fire up a scan to see what it's doing. And of course, if you get an engine light that fires up, a great easy way to come here, to come in here and just hit the scan button to get a good look at what might be causing that. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up for sure. And because it interacts with all the other Zeus pieces of hardware, you get a nice overall. And because I have multiple, you'll see that it scans every last piece of that. So. 
I should get a good overview of how my car is doing. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, we will see you guys in another video. Later, my friends.